So the next type of hack we'll be talking about is using links. It does follow the same trend of getting the data via reverse TCP. But this method of hacking uses a module named hidden I which is available for every Linux distro. I'll give a link to it in the description. So this basically helps the hacker in attacking a device using a normal link. Let me just show you how that is done. I just have to CD into a folder named hidden I. sudo su python3 hidden i.py so i'm into the module named hidden i now you can see the amount of options which have been provided here and i'll exactly show you what these options mean and how they work let me just go with google account type in option 2 let me just enlarge this and after that i need a standard phishing page i don't want any keylogger i don't want to add any cloud flare i don't want the file to be emailed to me these are all the things to beautify the link or the source of the link which the victim will visit and i can also choose whether i want to save the data here or i want it to be emailed to me this is the fun part what i'll do is i'll just go back to chrome so right now i'm at my channel so what I'll do, I'll just copy this link and go back to the Linux system and paste it here. Okay, it could be any website, any web source and hit enter. So it's asking me for a port, triple eight and I'll go with. So what I have to do is send this localhost URL whom I want to attack. So what they'll do is just out of curiosity, they'll just paste in the link here and hit enter. So this would be the thing they'll get, a survey kind of a thing. Just in case if you put some uh, fancy uh, things like you'll, it's an offer, if you do the survey, you'll get certain gifts or some discounts and stuff like that. They'll be tempted to do that and they might probably add some name as well. Say they have a Twitter account, their favorite color is something brown. Mine is black, okay. I'll go with black. So yeah, cool. So this is how the interface would look like. They wouldn't even have a clue that they're getting hacked. And they'll just click on submit. And after that, they'll be landed with the Google username. This looks like a normal Google user thing. And they'll, uh, they'll just enter the email and uh, some password and click on login. So before I click login, let me just put this aside and go to my uh, Linux system. So let me just enlarge this. So right now it's waiting for the target to interact. Okay. So I added everything and once I click on login, what will happen is it will direct me to the website, which I had put the link to that is this YouTube channel. But if you see on the left hand side, my email ID, which I entered to login as well as the password, which I entered to login have been leaked. So this works like a middleman wherein you just have to click on the link and you don't even have to fill in your details at times. You just have to log in. It's just like a plain login page from for YouTube or maybe a Google plain login page. So after you log in, it will direct you to the link. That's true, but it will direct the entire details of everything which you have typed in into the hackers terminal. And it's also specifying the kind of device which the person has used. This was about how you can be hacked using links. So uh, what is the conclusion right now? What, what did we learn from this? How to save your device? First thing is never download applications from random websites just because they are offering something free, especially torrents. You have to be very careful with them. Uh, they might have uh, you know, fancy uh, new movies and stuff like that. But within that can be a single patch of code which can you know, get access to your entire Android or Windows or even iOS device. That's first thing. Second thing, don't click on random links and put in your details just because it says it's some offer or it looks fancy and you want it uh, and it's not available right now. I understand that there are uh, people out there who are willing to give you uh, free stuff, uh, you know, to download free stuff, but make sure to, you know, uh, keep yourself safe. The one way you can do that is download antivirus softwares just so that in case if you try to install any malicious apk or visit a malicious uh, website it will warn you and make sure to use a safe browser so that it detects websites like this and warns you beforehand uh, for further information about uh, what's safe and what's not you can just comment down below and i'll reply to that and uh, give you a suggestion as to how to keep your android devices safe so this was about how your device can be hacked and how to do that 
the list of commands I'll be specifying in the description below. Keep in mind that use these commands wisely and only for your practice purposes and not against anybody because it can damage the device as well as put you in a situation where you will be stated as criminal. So hope you had fun. This is Bhagish Kodbi signing out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.